Hello and welcome to my video about changing the 2004 Prius HID headlights. A warning. This is a very difficult process. If I were you, I would pay a hundred dollars and go to Toyota and have it changed, have them change it, because this is a very difficult process and it's gonna take hours and you're gonna be left with lots of bumps, bruises, and cuts. Change that 185, my dad corrected me. Here are some of the tools I used. Um, you will need to use on the picture the little blue box. It has a little six-headed tools in there. And then I have a picture of the bulb itself in the box. And the box from the outside was a tiny bit wet because my hands were wet because um, the Prius block was dirty and I cleaned it up a little bit. Now here I'm showing the Prius's right side or left side bulb. And um, it's kind of dirty. I actually clean it um, for the sake of the video right after this clip. But um, right there you can see right next to the um, fuse box underneath there is a um, little rubber seal and the rubber seal is where the light is and um, I'm about to show you in a second yeah just zooming in and focusing to show you just how filthy it is and uh, yeah right there you gotta open this and um, open that too uh, you don't have to open it all the way if you want to. It'll make things slightly easier. Um, but I didn't open it all the way because um, I didn't feel a need for it. And as you can see right there, there's a little tab that you have to uh, take a... Now here I'm kind of showing you um, where exactly you're going to be working. That's the spot behind the bulb and that's the little rubber seal right there. You can see it. Um, right there where my hand is and if you have humongous monkey hands like me this is not a job for you and as you can see I removed the um, this um, fuse box cover first because that could get in the way and um, there's the seal itself there's a little knob you have to grab onto and you turn it counterclockwise about I'd say like five degrees that's all it opens and then just yank it out well don't yank because a bulb is in there gently pull it out and um, and you can see my gorgeous golden watch and um, there is the rubber seal it should be coming out any second now uh, this bulb was already broken so I wasn't particularly delicate with it as you can see um, there we go yeah there goes the bulb and um, uh, one tip if your bulb falls like that reach in behind the wheel well and it, it, it makes it so easy oh there goes this guy uh, reach in behind the wheel well and just grab it it's so easy and um there's the seal itself this is the inside part the part you will not see and um you're gonna want to keep it like that like I just held it um because that way the seal will be the, the the if you put it in that way which is the right way the bulb will go directly into the little slot in the headlamp and um, so you will want to keep it that way. That's really important. And here's the old bulb itself. Um, a little, just to show you what it looks like in case you haven't seen one before. Also, a word of caution, you'll see in the next clip, please use gloves because any leftover debris on your hands, even the oils naturally found on your skin, will cause the light to heat up and burn and explode. Now you can see that I'm going to demonstrate um, the light not working. As you can see, I have gloves for safety. And um, here comes the old bulb. And you see me demonstrating gloves by pulling them. Uh, and uh, yeah, there goes my beautiful gold watch and the bulbs. And um, so I'm going to stick in the bulb, right? And I'm gonna go and start the car. Well, not start it. But I'm gonna put it in um, ignition mode, and then attempt to turn on the lights. And as you can see, nothing happened. So this is a dead bulb. Oh yeah. Also, make sure your car is off. Okay, you don't want to catch fire or something. So. Make sure it's off. And there I show the working light just to show you that the car is on, that other light's working, but this one is not.
and make sure to carefully remove it make sure the car is powered off and if the bulb feels hot give it a second or two or uh, up to a minute and it should cool down again you know, don't want to burn yourself uh, bulbs can contain chemicals and here's a new bulb that I showed earlier and uh, so I'm going to demonstrate and make sure your gloves are dry okay if they're sweaty just switch out your glove you don't want to get it wet so uh, it's a new glove and again I'm, dem I'm again reminding to use gloves in the video too so um, simply take out the um, if you don't want to do it this way this is, this is just to make sure it's working to make sure there's no problem with the plug itself so go ahead and remove the new uh, bulb and carefully plug it in and there you go see I made a mistake I left it plugged I left the car on before I plugged it in but there you go you can see the bulb is working and there's a thumbs up to show it's working now for this next part you honestly have to figure out your own way of doing it because it took me two hours to do it and um, I tried like five different methods in the end the method I used was that I plugged in if you look at the rubber I plugged the bulb into the rubber facing the direction it's supposed to be facing because if you if you put the rubber in then try to force the bulb in it's not gonna fit so you have to put the bulb in the rubber and then put the rubber in and um, the little bottom part of the bulb you know there's three little sticky out thingies the bottom part has two little holes you want to face those towards the bottom of where the bulb goes you can look inside the actual front of the bulb the see-through part you know where the light comes out of and see and you want to line it up because that's where it's gonna fit otherwise it's not gonna fit so you want to line up the bottom part with that and um and then just uh, find a way of forcing it in and then uh, turning the rubber part and locking it in and then once you have it locked in then since th thankfully it's rubber you can just after it's locked in locking in is really the hard part once it's locked in you're good then just take your hand and, and you know just move it around in the rubber until it's in the right place and then you're pretty much done then go ahead and plug it in and uh, that's it And here is the final finished product, a working bulb, so officers will not pull you over and give you tickets for no reason. Thank you for watching.